out there. Welcome back to the episode of Uncensored Solar TV, brought to you by the team here, Solar Wolf Energy. And we're going to be talking today about California yet again. So we've been talking about Cali a lot. And today it appears that the California Supreme Court is about to hear a landmark case for solar and battery installation. Now, if you're paying attention to what's going on, New York Times dropped an article uh, the other day, whatever, about um, apparently what seems to be the issue of requiring of who's allowed to actually install solar. Now, out there, they live with a C10 license or C whatever, but they're trying to make it so that you have to have an elevated license to be a solar installation company. Now, this is going to be a bit weird because I would say I'm actually on the new requirement, which makes it harder. And the problem is the state wants stricter uh, guidance. They want stricter requirements. They want, want more paperwork. They want more less liability, right? So more licensure, more requirements. I actually think that's a great idea. The people that are suing the California storage and solar, whatever uh, agency, blah, 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 blah. You'll see it, look it up in your times. But the people that are doing this is well, they're arguing as well, it's gonna it's gonna reduce the amount of solar being put in. Just go get your license. I don't know what to tell you. You know, if you're out there slinging panels and you don't have a master electrician on your team, during the electrician on your team and apprentices working to get their licenses, you're already starting off from a very weak argumentative side. Okay, you should have these people. And if you've been floating it just not bringing one master electrician and everyone else is just working on that person, like you're gonna get caught and you should have elevated your game to begin with. So naturally I'm an advocate for those in the solar space, but this time I'm really not. This time I'm for the liability side. And it's because if you peel back what I'm really saying here, it's actually for the homeowner, for the end user, for the business owner that's putting solar on the roof. They want protection too, and you can't blame these folks. Just the same as if you're in solar and you want a solar company, you want to be protected, that's why you have insurance and whatnot. This is the same thing. This is homeowner's insurance, if you will, that you're checking all the boxes, you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing, and all your paperwork is handed in. If you're doing that, then this isn't a problem, right? And the ones who are complaining, you've had, I think, over uh, 40, 45, 50, maybe two months, um, days with two months now, to get your paperwork in, get this going, and get this started. Um, what are you waiting for? Whether this is going to happen one way or another, Supreme Court or not, I will get your paperwork and check. If you don't have your licensure, go take your classes, get your field hours, get it done, get it in. You don't have to worry about this anymore, right? From a company that does it the right way, in regards to your licensure, you should look at it too. Please do that. It's for the best results for our industry. Stop looking at this so much. That said, thank you so much for watching the episode of Uncentered Solar TV, brought to you by the amazing team here, Solar Energy. Thank you.